4 in Motion. I'm Kurt Parker. Ask any college graduate and they'll tell you that there is very little that can replace the college experience. Of course, the classroom learning time is crucial to the student's vocational goals, but what can colleges and universities do to make those same students better citizens and better acclimated to society? Mark Belden is the Assistant Director of Recreational Sports at Penn State. Typically, his job is to teach exercise science classes and to run intramural programs for students. But one day, his supervisor came to him with a unique opportunity. You, you never know what, what comes your way that uh, is, is going to be the opportunity that leads you down you know, life's path. And in my case, I was already teaching the fly fishing and um, I did the rec sports thing. And uh, one day, one of our directors, the fellow that's in charge of our uh, activities program, says, I have this opportunity for you. And he said, uh, we've got this program that we want to try to initiate. Uh, one of the trustees, Jesse Arnell, had been taken fishing by Joe Humphreys. And they had been undergraduates back in the uh, mid-50s together and kind of drummed up a friendship over Jesse liked the outdoors. Joe Humphreys was a uh, world-class fly fisherman and uh, Jesse asked if Joe would take him fly fishing. He had a great time. With seed money from Jesse Arnell, Mark started the Arnell Fly Fishing Initiative. The overall goal of the program is to involve students in an environment that they haven't experienced in the past, somewhat like fish out of water. Um, we had a, a basic class and then we had to actually start a master's program. So a lot of my students had already gone through our classes, had quite a bit of experience. So what I did is I took those students, um, I brought them in, we arranged to make sure that they got credit for, as part of their class, and they ended up acting as mentors or guides for the multicultural kids that we, we put together. Uh, I got together with Hank McCollum, uh, he helps run the, the, in the uh, uh, Eberly College of Science, he's the multicultural officer there, and he got me some students that first year. Uh, it worked out very well, we started with 10 or 12 students. I brought in my student mentors as well as some faculty staff people um, and we put together the program and just like that it clicked. The success was definite. The students came out, went through the program and walked away for the better. But for Mark and some of the participants, it wasn't over. While riding the momentum of the fly fishing program success, a question was thrown out for discussion. Can this program be transferred to another sport with the same success? Well, I'm fortunate enough to sit on the Athletic Council for Diversity, and we had Mark Belden come and speak to us about his program on fly fishing and um, what he's done with, uh, with that program and with a group of students that came in from various different backgrounds. Um, and so we were just chatting. I've known Mark a while, and, and we were talking about how uh, it would be maybe a really neat, neat thing to do to also bring into this aspect of the game of golf. We saw the presentation and it really brought to life uh, the, the whole experience, but probably the, 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 the great reward was how personally he felt and the joy he felt about sharing fly fishing with, with the people that were enrolled in the class. So now Mark Belden reaches out and says, where else can we get have this type of valuable experience. In, in asking some of my players to be involved in this, in this activity of just sharing the sport that they love, sharing it with others that are new to the game and teaching them some of the, some of the skills, um, it really wasn't something I had to make mandatory. teach an experience to someone that they, they say, okay, there's some, some value to me professionally, but also uh, really fun. It's just a game. Uh, with this project, it was a similar setup. Mentors, coaches, working with minority scholars. Uh, the idea was to work with business students because in business, you know, you're more likely to go on golf tournaments if you're in management or so on and so forth. And with that, that's, that's an opportunity in itself. I'm all about opportunity. Uh, when you're on the golf course for four to five hours, you talk about everything. When you're talking about everything, you're bonding, you're having, you're 
differences, you put your differences aside and you're seeing that other person for who they are. It is so much bigger than just fly fishing. It's so much bigger than learning the techniques and meeting the mentors. What it has done for me so far is open doors. I've been on interviews when I've, I've talked about it. It's an opportunity for engagement, and it's an opportunity to get our students outside of their comfort zone, doing something different, interacting with people who are different, and really developing solutions to problems and learning to work with different kinds of people. So it's just a matter of saying, we're gonna give our students the tools to put them in the best situation they can be in, because Penn State, with the education that they get from SMEAL, they're already ready. They know how to network, they have interns, they're learning some of the social networking skills that you would get at social events. But then when it comes to golf, the outings, they may not know how to do it, and they might be embarrassed to say, no, I can't do that, or this, that, and the other, but now they're prepared. And what I was able to do was, uh... Um, again, take this underrepresented group of kids, um, develop friendships with them through this class, teach them something, um, help them along here, staying here at the university. And you, you, you can't understand coming to a major university like this out in the middle of the country um, from an urban area. I can't even understand it totally, but I see sometimes how these folks struggle to stay here. And uh, you know, the fly fishing isn't going to save save the whole world, but here on campus, uh, you know, if we can make their life, introduce them, get them talking to different people on campus, uh, make their life a little bit easier, maybe they'll stay and have a positive experience. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.